Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about summoning blocks. There are two of them, so let's look them, let's first look them both up. So, we have the carved pumpkin block, this is the more advanced one, because this is summoning an entity after making a shape, and this is the, the new one. There, I saw old code, um, and the, the try spawn entity, yeah, this... This used to be absolutely massive, but uh, now it's a lot smaller, so we're going to be thankful for that. And then, basically, we're going to talk about the shapes, and the other one is going to be, like, the infest, uh, infested stone. Include non-project files. It's not giving me the classes. All right. Well, then we're going to have to do it like this. <laughs> Blocks. And then we're going to have to go into here, Control-F, and we're going to look up infested... Infested block, that's why. That's what it's called. <laughs> I'm gonna kick out of there. This one is uh, spawns a silverfish, and this is when you uh, break the block. So if I say, like, is it like break block, something like that? Copy properties, on stacks dropped, maybe? Spawn silverfish, so. Um, these are the two blocks that we're gonna be making. Let's start with the easier one, the infested block. So we know that we're gonna have to make a special block. So let's go into our blocks. And we have made a ton of blocks in the past, but we're just going to, uh, we're gonna copy this one oops, and paste it here. And then this is going to be our in uh, fested cement, there, <laughs> infested cement. So we're gonna call this infested cement. And then here, if you just want it to be a silverfish, you would just say infested block, and then, uh oh, there are probably some, what's wrong here? Oh, that's what I'm missing. I was like, what is it talking about? All right, so when you have an infested block, you need to talk about, you would need to claim what is being in, it, it, um, affected. So if I type in cement and then comma, and then I can have all my special details. I, ha I, had, I did have to look it up. I did forget about that. Um, but yeah, you're basically saying, what what is this infestation coming from? So it should just kind of copy those blocks. Uh, here we would just say like material.stone. Um, and so that is basically that. If you want to be a silverfish, let's say I wanted to, however, summon something else. So for this, we're going to basically copy and uh, duplicate the glass here. So let's make a custom package, and we're going to call this summon, because we're going to be making two classes. So the first one is going to be our mod uh, infested block. And then we're going to take a look at infested block. And you know what we're doing. <laughs> Copy it from the base all the way down. Wrong. Just kidding. This is actually not what you do. And the reason you can't do this is because there's an error in the code. So obviously if you copy the error, the error is going to go into your code. And if you don't know how to fix that error, uh, then you're going to, then, then you can't load your, your, your mod because you can't just have errors in your code. Minecraft is allowed to have their errors in their code because, uh, I believe that these kind of problems are caused by encryption, but let's go over the first-hand solution talking about just fixing the code and if you can't fix the code well we're going to get into the practicality and how it works for this block of just knowing the methods what they're doing and since we don't need it in this case we can literally just delete that method so is talking about the infested state and it turns out that one of the changes that i realized that even outside of this i noticed that from regular state and to regular state aren't being used so i can't Put in the files so i looked up the infested block and i decided to click on this to see where it's getting pulled from and it's talking about the tick of the actual entity itself and to me this is going to be a little bit of a problem uh i would have a solution but the solution would be using an older version that would still work in this version all right i don't really do this that often but i do want to point this out considering we're, we're, we're kind of nearing the end of the series. We're, we're, we're almost there. There is a total of 51 videos, so we'll see. So sometimes, uh, I didn't even realize this. If I just kind of close out of all my tabs, I know there's an error, but let's just look up the infested, st uh, the infested block, right? And if I ever see something where it says, hey, there is a problem, and uh, this, this is talking, the problem is in the Minecraft code, now, when usually this happens, if I don't know how to fix it, 
uh, it kind of stays broken. Um, and this happens this happens here and there. Uh, you'll run into things like this. Um, but something that I think is really weird is older versions or other versions will work while uh, and I'll update them. And the methods, although stay the old version, the code inside them doesn't have any. It didn't have to deal with any of the changes when Minecraft updated, so the old code still works. And whatever they were trying to do here, uh, something I noticed that they're recently trying to do is make more maps. Um, and I don't know. Sometimes I guess it's causing issues. So let's. I'm gonna go and well, you can't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go into another version. So now I have this open, and let's look up the same thing. It's called infested block. And this is in a, oh, include non-project files, infested block. There we go. So now we are going to take a look at this, and you're going to notice that, I mean, it still uses the maps. It tries to spawn the silverfish. But here you can see their copper properties is written a little bit differently. We still have from and regular, and if I try and click on it, it says that there is nothing to be found. Um, but there is some differences, uh, but it's mainly the same. But we're looking at just this, just basically where the problem is, and it is uh, right here. And you can tell that it did, it did a bad. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> you can you can get this from my GitHub. If you don't really know how to get there, um, every time I leave a, every time I post a video, in the description there's always my GitHub that has the page. You would just want to find, so this would be called summoning, uh, summoning blocks. So if you find the, go to the summoning blocks tab, you can always open up e each of the folders, kind of like, you can imagine it like how we go through like this. Um, just go down the files until you find the infested block. That's how I'm going to try and do this. So this is going to be like a little quiz for you, see if you can figure it out. Because learning how to look at other other codes and understanding them is perfectly fine. Um, people do it all the time. So let's go into my mine that is not working. And since what I did is I copied the, the regular infested block, <laughs> we're going to take the infested block as if we were taking it from this one. But we're going to copy from the base all the way from here. And we're going to control C. And then we're going to go over here. And then we're going to control V. So now, if I close out of this, because I shouldn't need it anymore, unless the other one is broken, we're going to have just like we had before, where it says, hey, there's a couple of errors. So from here, we're going to do mod infested block, and then suddenly everything is fine. Uh, is infestable, it doesn't seem to be working, uh, and it doesn't have, but does have the copy properties, just using in this. I'm guessing these are specific to um, the silverfish itself. I think the most important thing, because I understand the code, yeah, I don't even think we even technically need these, because all we really need it to do is drop, take a sil spawn a silverfish when it drops it. So technically, we just need these two methods. Uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna basically put my money where my mouth is, and I'm gonna try and do exactly that. All right. So I took out all of that blank code. So we basically have spawn silverfish, and it's going to spawn the silverfish when it, it drops, when it goes to drop it, which means we've broken the block, here's what it's dropping. Usually it's due tile drops, which is talking about, um, I break stone, it drops cobblestone. It's dropping something, so it's basically saying do the loot table. And inside of here, we're saying do this dot spawn silverfish. And it's not saying exactly drop the silverfish, it's saying this dot follow this method. And whatever this method is, it's going to do this, which is basically entity, <laughs> the silverfish uh, create in the world, basically. Here is its positions. We're going to be summoning it and then place spawn. I don't even know what that means, but we're just going to leave that be. So. As a basics, just to make sure that everything, <laughs> keeping, keeping keeping to my word, really, we're going to have this, and then we are going to have our infested block. But now let's say mod infested block. And just so that we know the difference between silverfish, let's make this a not a silverfish anymore. I want to make this a type of entity, and let's say entity type dot, and here are all of the things that we can make. Let's say uh ender endermite because it's it's sort of like a uh 
a fish, but now you're going to have this problem. All you really need to change are the big words, the ones that have capitals, because these ones are just the method names, and the method name could be anything. So let's call this the ender, uh, ender my entity. And then this will also need to be the ender my entity. And suddenly, look at that. Everything is fixed. Now, technically, I would se <laughs> severely suggest, even though I changed everything that needed to be changed, now it's saying silverfish ender my... And if somebody came into my code and tried to read this, it would not, it would not look pretty. So let's change uh, ender... Endermite, and then we're going to need this to do spawns, uh, SPA, spawns Endermite, and then let's take a look at this, here's a fancy way I'm going to do this, watch this, control F, take all instances, one, two, three, four, five, there's a sixth one somewhere apparently, uh, we're about to find out, so let's type in Endermite, and now it says Endermite. Yeah, so that was the silverfish up there, so we don't need that. And so now we have all of this working. It says Endermite, so now it should make sense that this would drop an Endermite. Now that we have this block in here, uh, without giving it a texture or anything, before you make a texture, I would, I would suggest making sure that the functionality of the block is working before you actually start implementing texturing it into the world. Like, I mean, like generating and stuff. We'll talk about generation in a, a, a very soon video. Um, let's just spawn the world. And let's see what we did with our infested cement. All right, so here we... Oops. All right, so here we are in our beautiful Minecraft world. And here we go. Let's take a look at our blocks. It, it should be here, infested cement. And if I break it in creative, I didn't specify in creative, so let's go in survival. We're going to need to get ourselves a, I don't know if it has a thing or not. Let's go in survival. If I break it, yeah, look at that. It's, I did not need a pickaxe, but notice how it has now summoned an endermite. So from here, we now know that the functionality of this block is working. So now if I wanted to texture it and do everything, this would be a good idea to move on because I now know that it works, and it does work by hand. This doesn't make it any faster. It does kill it faster, though. <laughs> Slash uh, time set day. So that I would always suggest that when you're making something completely new, uh, to just work on functionality before detailing and making it look pretty. I couldn't imagine somebody making something look, like take all the time to make it look pretty, thinking that the code is going to work, and then have the code not working. So that would be a pain that you don't ever want to go through. So back into the, let's get back into the code. So there it is. I, I did put, I, I, I basically put, I put my coding skills to, to, to where my mouth said it was, in which all you literally need is your spawn under my, your stacks dropped. Um, so technically, if that's how it is, if I simply looked up the infested block, um, they are here. So uh, I, although there is a problem with the code, knowing, also knowing what the code is, is very important. I'm still going to keep in the part where I show the older code and newer code because I did want to, I do th feel that it is important to show that as the versions of Minecraft changes, the code does change. And sometimes it, it does cause errors through changes. So that is something that I want you to be aware of. So this block is working. So something I like to do to clean up the code is take all this gray stuff out of here because we don't need it. All right, so now it looks pretty. Uh, let us now, with this mod infested block, let's uh, <laughs> let's take a look and I guess we can give it a texture. Uh, let's have it nothing too special. Uh, so let's take a look at the, what is it? Data gen, model provider, and then we are going to control D. This is going to be our... Uh, infested cement and it's going to cube all sides of the texture pool for cement we're not going to give it a loot table so it's going to do that and then here we're going to go into our assets uh, textures block and then here we have our we're looking for cement here and then we're just going to call this in uh, infested cement 
we're going to hit OK, and that is now in there. So we want it to basically look the same, that way people don't know. That's generally how infested blocks work, I guess. You could put in a little texture difference if you wish, but I'm not going to do one. So let's find a block, Control D, and then we are going to do uh, infested cement, and then over here we're going to type it again, infested cement. So now infested cement does exist. It is here, and uh, that <laughs> that should be that. So let's uh, run the data gen and then run the client uh, and see if everything is looking as beautiful as we had hoped. All right, here we are back in our lovely Minecraft world. And if we go into our blocks, we have infested cement and regular cement. So here uh, you cannot tell the, oh, I guess you can because this has illumination and this does not. So if it, if it does not illuminate, uh, that was something that I didn't intentionally do. If you look at the code, you'll notice that like at the very beginning, I got rid of the specifics and I forgot that this had illumination. So now in survival, you can break it and you can break cement as well. And they take the same amount of time. I'm just running from the Endermite. Oh, I got this. There we go. All right, so it now is working. It does drop the regular cement as it should, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't drop it on the things that are cement. And uh, because I believe it's in the entity that says to get inside the block, these are not going to do that. Um, <laughs> so that is something exclusive to the Silverfish. If you want to make a custom entity that does do that, uh, you can, but this is just the first part of the summoning entities with uh, infested blocks. All right, uh, turns out I'm going to go a little bit change of pace. So I am going to, uh, we're going to keep this as one video, and I am going to put the golem entity in a separate video because it's going to show the importance of world placement. And this video specialty is going to talk about errors and code files, but you already watched the video, so you already know that. So, but I, the other one, because we're dealing with the world, it's a really long video-ish. Uh, I'm going to edit it down, but it would seem even longer if I put this, like, 15-minute video on top of it. So we're not going to do that, because um, I'm trying not to make really long videos. I'm trying to make shorter ones. So uh, the video series will probably end uh, with number 52, 52, I'm thinking, so... There is still a couple more videos. You're not getting gypped of one. I am going to separate it, but I'm still going to call it as if it is one and one. So keep that in mind. But anyways, that is going to be it from me in this video. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, 